Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily reading for Friday, Fabulous Friday. I'm really excited today because I'm going to bring in a deck of cards I haven't used for ages, the Healing Oracle cards. I love this deck, it's by Wendy Thrippleton. And I'm going to bring in the Gorgeous Star Tarot and the Energy and Spirit Oracle. We're also going to connect with the Masculine Energy using my new deck. Divine Masculine Distraction Oracle. And just to remind everyone, I am going to be live later on today, 8pm UK time. It's going to be answering questions live, but I'm not going to be doing a personal Q&A. The other day I put a community post on and I asked questions about what you'd like to know on this journey. You know, any burning questions, anything that can help you to feel better about things and understand things a bit more. You know, things about how to forgive or you know, what energy the masculine goes into or anything you need to know. So that's what we're going to be doing. And during that live stream, I'm going to be giving away one of the Divine Masculine Distraction decks. And if you want to get involved in this giveaway, there's still time. I'm taking, you know, entries until 6 p.m. my time. So there's still time. So, and it's one o'clock as I post this video. So if you want to get involved in that, yesterday I, I shared a video and I talked about how to get involved in the giveaway just, you know, go there and comment and let me know why you want to win a deck. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. So what's the energy today around the connection? Now, I am feeling today, and I spoke about this in the masculine reading earlier, that the throat chakra is easing a little bit. Now, it's been really painful for me to channel messages because I've been picking up on this energy. And the masculines have been dealing with all of this heat in the body, and all of this energy that needs to be released, all this passion, desire for you, we picked up on that last night in the DM to the F reading, but all this passion and power that needs to be released. And they've been feeling it the most in the throat because they want to express that to you and tell you how they feel and get things off the chest. So you're going to feel it's easing up. I'm still croaky, but it's not hurting today. So things are getting better for the connection. Why? Because we're moving towards the Lionsgate portal bringing with it power so what's the energy please angels around the masculine i've just pulled the feminine card there the energy around the masculine this is such a beautiful deck you know and lots of healing taking place right now what's the energy please angels around the connection today and the energy around the divine feminines amazing wow and the energy around the divine masculine i love that archangel zakiel's just come through for the feminine there to remind you of your power, to remind you of your light and who you are and why you've come. The energy, please, angels. Thank you. Wow, the Hierophant there. The energy around the Divine Feminines. The energy around the Feminines. Three cards. And the energy around the Divine Masculines. Wow, amazing. Love it. And the energy, please, around the connection. Jumping straight out today. The energy around the Divine Feminines. And the energy around the Divine Masculines amazing and don't forget you know if you're learning tarot with me we're doing spreads right now and this week i'm doing the nine card spread and talking how we can do that together and that's really what i use here you know i just use an extended version of the nine card spread because you know in the nine card spread you pull three cards for the feminine three cards for the masculine three cards for the journey well i do it with you know decks of cards i just say what cards and they just jump out so amazing so the energy then around the connection is recognize yourself. Now, I just want to say this. This is powerful because when I was shuffling the feminine cards, I saw as it jumped out the deck, Archangel Zadkiel. And Archangel Zadkiel is the angel who helps us to recognize ourselves. So I'm just going to pop him there for a second because he helps us to know why we've come. You know, he is the angel who helps us to remember our truth deep within, you know, connected with mission and purpose and what's written in the Akashic records he helps us to recognize that and he's helping the feminine and the masculine to recognize themselves and recognize their worth that you are worthy of this journey that you're worthy of each other's love that you're worthy of all the success and power that you've been asking for and dreaming about and to know your world to know this world you know to understand it on a deeper level why we've come that we have an ego as a human being but we have a higher self as a spiritual being so we have the power to overcome all the darkness within us to focus on the light so we learn to know our world and our energy and our world may be the earth plane 
you know, the place, the planet where we live, but also our own personal world, because that's what matters. You know, that's why as spiritual beings, sometimes we don't pay attention to what's going on in the world, because we pay attention to what's going on in our inner world. And that's what matters. You know, my mum used to say to me, why don't you watch the news list? You need to know what's going on in the world. And I used to say, all I need to know is what's going on in my world, because that's where the power is. And she never really understood that until she went through her spiritual awakening in the 70s. It's very powerful. So Archangel Zachiel is saying to you, recognize yourself. And when we look in the mirror and we look deep into our eyes, sometimes we see our twin flame residing there because you are one. So your masculine is recognizing themselves in you and you're recognizing yourself in them. And that's why so many twin flames resemble each other in so many ways. You know, whenever I share photos of me and George, you guys say we look so similar. And that's because we are one and you feel that and sense that on a level that's not just physical for the eyes to see. You feel it on a spiritual level for the heart to see. And it's the heart that sees all. So Archangel Sarkiel is saying, I'm helping you to have self-acceptance, compassion and forgiveness on this journey. And that's been flowing in since 2021. And that's bringing in a transformation and a beautiful change. And I love that they're showing the yellow flowers there. You know, yellow is about the sun and the light and the love and the energy of the divine feminine. And, you know, if you've been guided to yellow lately, and I've been buying sunflowers the last few weeks, you know, finding them very beautiful to have them in the home, you know, in the kitchen as I go in there because they're bright and beautiful. And that's like you, the divine feminine, you know, you are bright and beautiful. Shine for who you are. Don't doubt. Look at this. I'm just going to put Zakiel away a minute, but these are all the things that he is bringing in. He's helping you to release doubt and replace it with faith. Shine for who you are. So remember, be yourself. There's no need to try and be anybody else. That's your life support. They're showing me this when I'm looking at this intuitively. Like, they're showing me like a ring, first of all, a ring of light, which is protecting you and your twin and, you know, the whole planet too and power from heaven. But also, this is like... Um, one of those um, things you put around you when you go into the ocean so you don't sink like a life raft but it's a, a not a life jacket but like a dinghy or something you know a life ring that you a rubber ring that you put around you and they're also showing me this you can probably see that too I'm seeing this as the throat and the, the mouth and the tongue you know can you see that there that's intuition coming through Archangel Raphael bringing in a healing deep within the throat and the mouth to bring in communication so things are growing. So when I'm seeing this here, I'm seeing this as beautiful, you know, growth, you know, big kind of, you know, like grass, like big um, pieces of grass growing. You know, are they shards of, shards of glass? You know, are they shards of glass or shards of grass? So again, you can see your journey is painful, like glass. When it smashes, it can hurt and cut you. Or when you walk through a field and all the, the grass kind of moves around you and it makes you feel nice. So this is about things growing. But he says, don't doubt the connection. Instead, shine for who you are. Shine bright. Shine on this journey. And the masculine wants to shine for you, not just for themselves, but for you. And nourish the love because miracles are here. And this is beautiful. Miracles are here. When you're seeing the bees, the bees are showing you that miracles are here. Already here now in this journey. And you know, you may think, well, my miracle hasn't shown up yet, but your miracle showed showed up for you. You know, your miracle was your twin and you coming into contact. So remember, you've had so many miracles already on this journey. Of course, the universe can create another one. And we've got phase entanglement 33, emotional influence. Now, this is really interesting because the emotional influence today around the divine masculine is actually Jesus because we've got 33 and that's the number of Jesus. So Jesus came around the masculine in their reading. And that's the influence he's receiving today. But this is reminding you that on this journey, we will get people whispering things into our ears, trying to bring in doubt, trying to make us think this isn't real. And we have to stand up for what we believe in and trust our journey and be around people who have our back, who get us, understand us and know us. And the masculine knows that the only person who really knows them is you. 
and you know that you have the support and love from your soul family here who do get you friends family don't get it sometimes can bring in doubt and struggle not only to the divine masculine but also to the divine feminine so the message is don't let others affect your vibration or your emotions today because you know your truth and the hierophant is about commitment commitment to this journey commitment to each other but also to yourself to see things from a higher point of view and the masculines are showing you you just have to ride the wave and that means going with the flow. Sometimes we just go with the flow and hope for the best and trust the journey. And that's exactly what we're being guided to do. And we're being reminded that we don't need drugs on this journey because our masculine is our natural drug. And for the masculine, the feminine is the natural drug. So when they are searching for something else outside of the connection, what they're really searching for is you because you're the natural high that they, that they desire. So we're going to bring in the feminine card. So Look at this, be kind from within and become transformed. So feminines, just be kind, be kind from within. And they show me this like a womb, you know, and the way that we nurture as divine feminines, as the empress, the way that we give and we transform within. So when we feel good and we are operating in a kind energy, it has a ripple effect on everything in the world. And we know in our heart and soul that our masculine loves us because he's coming up as the king of cups there. You know, he's the king of your heart after all. And he holds your heart in his hands. And sometimes he can squeeze that and he can bring in pain. But other times he nurtures that. You know, he holds it and strokes the heart because he loves you that much. So this is about knowing that he loves you and knowing that everything will be okay. So let things flow. So the energy for the feminine here is let go of impatience, frustration, even boredom and struggle and focus on peace, flow, surrender, allowing things to be, and also knowing that we can never get bored on this journey, because there's always things to do, there's always things to learn and understand, and the princess of pentacles is knowing what you feel in the heart, and that's what they show me here, the heart space, knowing what you feel, and in the card, we've got a stag, we've got a bear, we've got butterflies, squirrels, you know, there's a swan in there. You have to look close. What animal is calling to you? Because that animal is showing you a sign. And the sign is love. And for the masculine, we've got poetry. Finding words to express all the romantic feelings and all the intense emotions they are holding inside. So they want to express themselves with words. Communication. The throat chakra opening and allowing things to come out. And this really resonates again with yesterday's reading for the feminine. You know, we got the energy of Archangel Gabriel saying, write down your thoughts, write down your feelings. And you may be motivated today to express yourself too. Ancestors, we've got historical connections and purpose. So your ancestors, your loved ones in heaven are all around you. And when we think of ancestors, we think of very old people. You know, people who may have lived thousands of thousands of years ago. But our ancestors are our, our timeline, our, you know, our line and, you know, our legacy that we are the legacy that they leave behind. So what I'm seeing here is your mom, your dad, if they are in spirit, they are around you sending you hope today and sending you love and letting you know that they are there to help and support you and guide you. You know, your sisters, if you know, you've got sisters up there, soul sisters even, Whoever you've lost, who you see as a guide to you, are around you. And of course, Archangel Zadkiel helping you to see. And I feel you're going to receive yellow today in some way. And that could possibly be yellow flowers. Whether you see them, they come to you in your real world, your virtual world. Even bees, because bees are yellow, is a big sign of love, forgiveness, compassion and self-acceptance. So when we accept the journey, everything falls into place. Now, for the masculine, we've got reclaim it. Love is all around you. All you have to do is reclaim it. And they give me that song, love is all around me. Is it wet, wet, wet? Probably doesn't go like that, but love is all around them. So they want to reclaim your love because the love that they feel for you is all around them. And the love you send to them is all around them too. And they appreciate you from their soul. They have heartfelt gratitude for you. And they want to show you that time is illusion, money is illusion, and they find balance, they want to balance everything, 
to be available for you. You know, they want to transform enough to be able to give to you in many, many ways. So there's an appreciation coming in here. The masculines appreciate you. And they're also going through a cleansing and an attunement to their truth. And this is a shamanic healer and the number 17. So again, reminding you that something big will have taken place in both of your lives in 2017. Even if you weren't in contact then, something big will have taken place, big shifts and changes. So there's a cleansing attunement. The masculine's becoming very aware of who they are. And look at the eagle. You know, the eagle is a big sign of their dreams manifesting, that they want to reclaim what's theirs, and that's you. They want to reclaim their personal power. And Archangel Zachiel is helping them to do that. We've got the world. Again, look at this 21 energy, which we have coming through with Archangel Zadkiel, wherever he's gone. So 21 is about now. It's happening now. The energy of the, the day, the energy of this year, the energy of things flowing in since 2021. The world's in your hands, completion. And the Prince of Swords, fast energy, speed. The Lion's Gate portal, moving things forward. So there's going to be some chatting. Chatting on Snap, okay? Snapchat messages, instant recognition. So this weekend, especially as I'm feeling all this communication coming in, the masculines may Snapchat you. They may reach out to you through Facebook or Instagram or even through YouTube. We've got Seeking Answers and Truth. They may be around on YouTube this week, connecting with themselves. So, you know, this is about the energy of this day, but also where they are this week. So YouTube finding answers, seeking answers, understanding. If you've got a YouTube channel, I know a few of you have who watch me, okay? They may be on your YouTube channel checking you out. They want to chat with you. They want to move towards you in a powerful way because they are feeling connected with you more and more. And we've got acting, pretending to be someone else. So remember, if he's wearing a mask, it's all pretense. It's not real. He's hearing music about you. He's hearing, especially love is all around me. Okay, I can't remember what it's exactly called. They're just giving me the tune in my mind and I'm channeling. So it's hard to connect with both. So the end, the song is by Wet, Wet, Wet. Love is all around me or something similar to that. It's making them feel. And they are feeling you when they are listening to music. So music is really important to the masculines today. And we've got golf to create the feeling of calm and zen in their busy mind. So maybe some of the masculines are going to play golf this weekend. Or they may even be going diving to prepare to resurface to you to dive deep for clarity and answers. But most of the masculines won't be doing this. So this is showing you that sometimes they have to go within. Because golf is like meditation. So they have to go within to find that place of calm within themselves, to seek the answers and to feel calm and safe enough to resurface, to be able to come forward to you at the right time. So this is also a big message about the masculines popping back up in your life, reaching out to you, communication, showing you exactly how they feel because they love you, they do care and they want you around. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.